Day three of our bikepacking trip saw us take the train from Salerno to Messina. We took an intercity train operated by the government-owned Trenitalia Italia and rode economy class. There was no need for booking, although this probably is a good idea if you're travelling in August. Some trains have Wi-Fi, but ours didn't, so we were forced to talk to each other. But thankfully we found an American couple and we talked to them instead. The trains were obviously designed by cyclists because bike storage is easy. They have electric points for recharging as well as electric points at all seats. They have vending machines in case you need food or drink. And there's no time pressure. There are multiple train options. Ours took about 5 hours and cost 91 euro, which is about 96 US dollars or 79 pounds. The route took us from the main part of Italy to the island of Sicily with a water crossing, but no obvious way across. I thought there may be a ramp and that we would get the train to jump across. Mark thought maybe we would go underneath the, the water. The reality was much simpler. We went by boat. By the way, I love to read your comments, so please tell me about your train trips you have taken. to go that way anyway. But it doesn't matter. No. Three kilometers the wrong way. But that's fine. First night's Sicilian camping was definitely the best of the whole trip. We arrived at an empty campsite and the owner loved me as soon as he saw my family name, which is Italian. We asked about food and he apologised that all he had was cold meat and cheese plus Messina beer. That sounded perfect. He told us to camp under a shelter with a power socket so we were able to recharge everything including ourselves. Tyrannus, the Celtic god of wheels, was definitely looking favourably on us that night. Sicily has some unique qualities. Sicilian language is a different language to Italian. That explains why they were so accommodating when I spoke to them in dreadful Italian. They didn't care. It wasn't their language. Well, they were responding in Sicilian, I was none the wiser. Another interesting fact is that some of the best preserved Greek ruins are in Sicily. My favourite fact, and something I repeatedly fact-checked, is that Sicily's volcanic soil and Mediterranean climate make it ideal for growing wine grapes, and thus for making wine. You really can't fact-check these stuff enough. Probably the best-known thing about Sicily is its links to the Mafia. It has been active in Sicily for 150 years or more, although the islands and also the national governments continue to remove this issue.
Castello di Malazzo overlooks the town and one of Sicily's most important harbours. It is built on a site that was originally fortified 6,000 years ago. The Greeks modified it about 3,000 years ago and the Romans then enlarged it. The Normans started construction of the building we now see sometime around 1066. The castle was extensively modified in the 1200s and the Sicilian Parliament met here in 1295. The castle was used as a prison from 1880 to 
day five. There's my tent. The showers are over there. They have hot water. This is set up for RV. They normally don't allow tents, but obviously there's no RVs here. The pictures show this thing packed full of RVs. There's showers. There's power for RVs. I don't know if there's power for us. This one guy must live here, I think. And then they lock that gate so we can leave our stuff here. There's a little washing area that's covered here. This whole area is covered. We could set the tents up under here, but it's not supposed to rain at all. Cooking stuff we're not going to use. And there's a pool. Shaggy in the pool. They gave us the key to this gate so we can lock the gate when we leave so no one can get in here. We can leave our stuff in here. No one's coming in here anyway. They're like, oh look, we got a pool. You can use the pool. So I would show you, but he's a, no, I don't know. The merman. Continua domenica prossima quando completerò il mio viaggio in bici in Sicilia. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and ensure you see future videos, hit the subscribe and bell button. I love to read your comments, so please tell me about your adventures in Italy.